Ibn Masood, the hour has come. At the time, Abdullah was leaning on something. He then sat down and said, The hour will not come until the inheritance is not distributed and until there is no joy over spoils of war. Then pointed with his hand towards Asham, Syria and surrounding areas. He continued an enemy gathering their forces for the people of Islam and the people of Islam gathering their forces for them. I asked, oh, are you referring to Rome? He said yes, and at that point there will be fighting and a great retreat. The Muslims will send forth a portion of their army to die. They should not return except as victors. The battle will continue <coughs> will continue until the night acts as a barrier between them. Each party will remain not non-victorious and the advanced party perishes. Then the Muslims will send forth another portion of their army to die. They should not return except as victors. The fighting will go on with both armies remaining non-victorious and with the advanced group perishing. Then the Muslims will send forth yet another portion of their army to die. They should not return except as victors. The fighting will go on until the night has acts as a barrier between them. Both armies will return to non-victorious and this last advanced group perishes on the fourth day. The rest of Islam's adherents will go to face the and Allah will make them become stricken by misfortunes. The killing will be such as he either be such as he either said, We know that not the likes of, or he said nothing similar to it, will have been seen. To the extent that a bird will pass by their sides and will not pass by them until it falls down dead. The children of a father, relatives or members of the same tribe who were 100, will find that only a single man from them remains. Over which spoils of war should one rejoice in such a situation? And which estate should be divided? As they are in that situation, they will hear of something that is even greater than that. A frightened caller will call will come to them, announcing that the Dajjal stayed behind among their women and children. They, the army, will refuse that what is in their hands, and they their hands, and they will go forth. They will send one, ten riders in advance. The messengers, the messenger of Allah said, I indeed know their names, the names of their fathers, and the colours of their houses, horses. At the, that time, they will be the best riders on the face of the earth. In a narration we already related from Of ibn Malik, as the Prophet was enumerating the signs. He said, The six is a truce that will take place between you and the children of the yellow ones. They will advance towards you with eighty flags and underneath. Each flag are ten thousand. The Fustat, perhaps meaning city here, of the Muslims at that time will be in a land land called Al Ghuta in a city called Damascus. Related that the Messenger of Allah said indeed the Fustat perhaps meaning city here of the Muslims on the day of the carnage will be at Al Ghuta beside a city called Damascus. One of the best cities of Asham, Syria, and surrounding areas. We have already related hadith regarding the conquering of Constantinople and Abu Qubail's hadith from him regarding the conquering of Rome. 
The hour will not arrive until the Messiah, Isa bin Miriam, kills the Dajjal, the curse of Allah, upon him, nor until good and its light overcomes falsehood and its darkness. Related that the Messenger of Allah said, The hour will not come until the Romans descend in al Amak or Badabic, two areas in the lands of Syria near Haleb, an, arm, an army from Medina comprising of the best from the people of the earth at that time will come out to meet them. When they make their lines, the Romans will say, Make way, allowing us to fight those who took our women and children as prisoners during war. The Muslims will say, By Allah, we will not make a way for you to go to our brothers. They will fight them. One third of the Muslims will, in Hazim, this literally means become vanquished, but perhaps here it means that they will flee. flee. And Allah will never forgive them. One third will be killed, and they are the best of martyrs with Allah. One third will conquer, and they will never be put to trial. And they will conquer Constantinople while they are distributing the spoils of war, and while their swords are hanging on olive trees. The devil will call to them, saying, The Messiah, Dajjal, is behind among your families they will leave but that statement is false when they go to Asham, syria and surrounding areas that he the dajjal will come out as the muslims are preparing to fight they straighten their lines and then the call for the prayer is made next isa ibn maryam will descend and lead them in their prayer when the enemy of Allah, the Dajjal, sees him, he will melt the salt dissolves in water, whereas where Isa to leave, where were Isa to leave him, he would continue to melt until he became destroyed. But Allah kills him at the 